This is Richard Hammond's new favourite thing, his Ford Ranger pickup. You may have seen it before on the channel. He often uses it to commute to work, which is why you'll often find it out the front here at the smallest cog. But this is very much a working courtyard, especially with HMS Engineering next door doing all of their heavy stuff. So there's lorries and forklifts and everything else moving around in here, which means the inevitable has happened. Ironically, while test driving a vehicle for an upcoming Grand Tour special, said secret vehicle, which even more ironically is going to be Richard's car for the show, reversed into the back of his pickup. Now Richard is just back from filming that Grand Tour, but he's decided to take a very well-deserved holiday. So I thought, while he's away, we'll get the team together and give him a nice surprise for when he comes back and fix that dent on his pickup. Because do you know what? I'm just a f***ing nice guy. Right, Andrew, you're my man today. Piss easy, right? Just pop it out. Well, you're in charge of this today, I think, because what's going to happen today, I've got an idea. You're okay. going to be my apprentice today. Great. And you're going to do most of the work to this. No pressure. Yeah. It's your boss's truck. Oh, so, I mean, that, well, that's just crimped in, right? You yeah, just well, need to get <clears> a big sucker on that and pop it out. Yeah, it all sounds so easy, doesn't it? But if you look along the vehicle, it's pushed the whole panel in. It's creased it there. Oh crap. Yeah, yeah. can you see it's like pushed the whole panel in and if you look it's even dented it down in the bottom. So right. what we're gonna have to try and do is get our little air puller on there and try and suck as much out as we can. I'm hoping that crease will come out and that crease comes out and then we just work on this piece here because it's got a sharp crease in there, look. Okay. So we've got a fair bit of work to do and we're gonna be up against it. Well you are. Good. I might even let you paint it. That's dangerous. You'll be fine. Don't tell Richard that. No, you'll be fine. You'll be with me. I'll be with you all the how, way. How to take 10 grand off the value of a vehicle. <laughs> you'll be fine. Way. You'll be absolutely brilliant. Now, we're not allowed to talk about the vehicle that did the damage specifically, but you yeah. can see there the paint is its a bit yellow, isn't it? It was yellow and it was a pickup. Okay. So it was like a clash of pickups in the yard. So everyone, everyone watching at home, go on to Google, type in Grand Tour Filming, <laughs> you'll probably see what vehicle did this damage. Did a good job too, didn't it? It did, it did. Yeah. Pick up on pick up. Well, Andrew, you peaked in the 80s. That was your teenage, early 20s. Peaked years. in the 80s? What do you mean? <laughs> I haven't peaked yet, have I? But I think all of this is going to take a big 80s montage. So, editor, are you ready? 80s montage in three, two, one. Andrew, considering the scars that were in this pickup this morning, that shape seems to have come out all right. Are you happy with how it's looking? I'm really happy with it because there's quite a lot of shape in it, isn't there? It's like you've got the arch that rolls yeah. round that way and it curves in that way and that panel's got a brake line there which curves that way and then that panel goes away from it. So you're doing it all blind, really. It's just years of experience, I suppose, isn't it? just to get it in there right and get the shape there. But no, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It doesn't look too wobbly. We're, uh, I think Richard will be happy with it. And if he ain't happy, I can blame you, can I? Because you rubbed some exactly. of it. Exactly. <laughs> we are going to get this pickup off to G10 next, because yeah. it's going to get the full treatment. Is there anything you're going to do in the meantime 
before we then send it to G-Technic. Well, obviously, I'm going to unwrap it and then yes. I'm going to denib a few bits because you always get the odd little bit in them. They're not really too bad. There's a couple of little bits, but mm. I'll denib it and polish it and match it up to the rest of the vehicle, orange peel wise. That's interesting. So you actually don't want to polish that too well no. because it no. won't match the rest of the car. Well, I promise, if you block flat that and polish it, it'd be dead flat, and the yeah. rest of the car is really orange peely. Yeah. So that's why I put it on a quite a a lower pressure to try and get a bit of orange peel in it to match the rest because I did notice it is quite peely but um, okay. no, I think Richard would be happy with it and he'd be happy to get his truck back wouldn't he? Cool well thank you for letting me have a go at all the bits of it. No, it I saw it. I saw it. What, what did you think of seeing the whole process from start to finish then? Yeah really cool especially the shape like the painting is cool and I've seen you guys do that before but seeing it go from that crimped mm that crimped quarter to then seeing the shape matching the other side, that was pretty impressive seeing that. That's good, Your yeah. filler work is very impressive. Well, cheers, Andrew. And guys, the next time you will see this pickup, it will be at G-Technic. Things have already started today, but let's take a moment to look at this panel. It's looking so fresh. Andrew did a fantastic job. The paint has also been left plenty of time to cure. So let's chat to Dom from G-Technic to figure out what the plan is to detail this pickup. Dom, thanks for helping us with our mission. You normally have GT Porsches and RS Audis in here. Have you ever had a dirty working pickup in here? No, no, we've never had a, a pickup this bad. Um, we've had some G-Wagons, um, we've had some big Range Rovers uh, okay. in here, but nothing as bad as this, that's for sure. Okay, cool. Your guys have already given it a wash and they've started polishing it. How are we gonna get this thing spick and span for Richard? Okay, so in terms of the preparation element, we're gonna have to machine polish the vehicle fully. Yep. Uh, ceramic coatings are optically clear, so you need to have fundamentally a perfect surface before you apply them on top of that. Okay. So we're gonna spend a good few days machine polishing this. It being flat black is showing everything. There's a lot of body work to polish as well. There's a lot of body work and it's a, it's a workhorse. Yep. Um, so it's showing that it's being used on a daily basis. Once we've done that, we'll then put the ceramic coating on top. So the ceramic coating we're gonna be putting on this vehicle is our Crystal Serum Lite. Okay. Uh, so this is our prosumer version. It's about 80% of the performance of the professional version. So it still gives very good durability, very, very good chemical resistance and good scratch and swell resistance. Okay. Once we've done that, we'll then coat it with our product called EXO. That's a hydrophobic uh, sacrificial barrier. So it's basically gonna stop dirt sticking to the surface and make it super easy to clean. So once it's done, it'll be so easy to live with and it'll involve pretty minimal washing. Okay, cool. Well, I'd like to see just how bad the bodywork is. So we've got some of it polished, some of it not. Can we see the difference here? Yes, so if we head over to the bonnet, you can see here, um, just looking, if you catch that light, oh, yeah. and as I move across, you see the center section we've done. So there's, yes. it almost looks gray. God, you can see where he's been through bushes or maybe a machine washer at yeah, some point. Yeah, or, or just you know, poor washing techniques. Um, but you can see that there's certainly a, a dramatic colour change. So when we do put that ceramic coating on there, it'll be a nice, deep, rich black. So it'll ping like a diamond once it's done. Okay, so just to run over it, we've had on the channel before your full Crystal Serum Ultra. That's what's on our BMW M5. So this is going to be more a kind of consumer version of that. Is that yes, yes. So it's eighty percent of the performance of the Crystal Serum Ultra. It is a consumer-based version, so people can do this themselves. It's about you know the preparation again. So there's there's no getting away from it. If you have a truck this big, you'll still need to machine polish it. I'm afraid to get yeah. the best from the coating. Yeah. Uh, but yes, it's something they can do in their own environment, in their own garage at home. Um, and the XO that we're putting on top, that sacrificial hydrophobic barrier, that's also available as a, as a consumer product. Okay, so Rich is gonna have the prettiest pickup in the West, but then the The prettiest, the cleanest, and, and the most easy to care for as well, yeah. Okay, cool, let's see it.
Another thing that will make a huge difference to this truck will be cleaning up the interior. Farm life and garage life have combined and it's just a big well being here. Yeah. Dom, I'm back to pick up the truck and you've accomplished it. I think this is the shiniest pickup truck I've ever seen. How much work has gone into this? Um, there's about three days of polishing that's gone into it. Right. It's, it's a black, flat black, so it's really, really challenging to machine. But we've, we've done it, then we've coated it with the Crystal Serum Light yep. uh, and XO, that's taken about a day. The XO will give that really hydrophobic protection, so what Rich will find is it's a dream to clean. Um, whilst we were there, we've also coated the wheels with our wheel armour, and we've mm -hmm. done the seats, the leather, the dash, all the fabrics, they've all been coated with that separate coating, so it's, it's mess-free motoring for many years to come. I must say, from certain angles, it looks like there's almost an Instagram filter. Everything's so smooth. What, what do Richard and the cogs need to know now about looking after this truck now? So fundamentally, um, they just need half a dozen products. It'll just be a shampoo, an all-purpose cleaner, a wheel cleaner, good wash mitts, because that's key to good washing, yep. and then a ceramic sealant just to top up that beading and keep that dirt repellency going. Okay, well thank you also for doing the interior because it was pretty bogging in there when I drove it down. But if it's cool with you, I'll get the car back to Richard. Happy motoring. Thank you. Richard, your truck was on the verge of being written off last time <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> You're bigging it up. And now look at it. Oh, I say. It has never looked better than this, I would say. Oh, that is, that is gone, gone, Where isn't it? was the dent? I don't... It was behind the arch, was it? Was, it? it was just here. Andrew has worked some serious magic with a bit of help from myself. What? What did you do? I helped sort of, you know, that plunger thing, like yank the plunger it out. Thing. I absolutely right. loved it. Oh, so you mended it? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay, well, okay. Well, okay well. That, is, that is such a relief. I hated seeing it wounded. Well, can we get the story from your side of things? What yes. happened? Well, um, a shamefaced Hadrian Spooner up there of HMS Engineering, rather was. Hereford, <laughs> next door, um, appeared over there going, oh mate, what, one of my lads has done something bad, what? And I came running out here, and what had happened was, my vehicle, the vehicle that I was using on a certain show, starts with gr and ends with and tour. Okay. Um, <laughs> had been manoeuvred around this yard because Hadrian was doing some prep work just to make sure it worked. Um, he, it, it, one of his guys backed it into this. So my truck was reversed into my truck. Okay, so, yeah. it, so it's not just a Grand Tour vehicle, it's the one that you are going to be seen it's using. It's the one I'm actually driving on Fantastic. the show. Fantastic. It was reversed into my personal truck. And it's sort of crimped it, didn't it? Yeah, and it had that horrible, and I hated it. You know, when, you, when you've got a, it's a working vehicle. Mm -hmm. Who cares? You can't see it when you're driving it. It doesn't make any difference, but you know it's there. And every time I thought about the truck, I'm like, oh, but it's got that it's got scar right now. Exactly it's gone. what you mean. And it looks proper zingy. Yeah, so it's been given the full G-Technic treatment, fully detailed. It'll probably never look this good again. Never. But still. Mate, thank you. I am delighted. I'm very yeah. happy that my rough tufty truck is now smart and pretty. There's your keys. I look after it. I didn't bend it this time, but thank you for mending it. How long will it last? A long time. I'm very protective of it. Ceramic coating on it. Thank you. 
shiny. Oh, it's much dear. Right, I'll look after it. Yes. Thank you. I'm very pleased. That's You're the welcome. best thing that's going to happen to me today, possibly this week.